to our advice section in Terrence and Beth, a partner in the Philippines. Uh, there's a small button down there says subscribe give us subscribe you know just hit the bottom of the ring button button and then you will be subscribed on our channel you know and at the same time when you wa when you watch our videos give us a th uh, thumbs up there's a too small that that one give us that so our problem for today that we're gonna get is about where is the Where's that? Where's that email? I thought that we were going to find the problem before we started recording, honey. Mm, just the same, just talk something. Not just Here. talk something. Hi Terrence, uh, hi Terrence and Beth. I am Alma, one of your avid subscribers. I send the I sending you a letter to verify if it's true of, of what my boyfriend says in our boyfriend says I have a boyfriend and he told me that he gonna bring me to America with my two daughter he said it will happen but my neighbors and my family said they will not believe uh, they will believe it once I will be in America <laughs> what is the truth is it easy to process or not Alma is it a what process is it easy to process I think I answered this lady uh, by by message but anyway It'll be interesting to get other people's viewpoint. It, it's not an easy process, that's for sure. And your family and friends can be forgiven for thinking, uh, yes, we'll believe it when we see it. But then we, uh, well, they must have met this man. So they all have made their judgments uh, and the judgments may not be great. Also, there's always a little bit of jealousy that might be there. So maybe they're thinking, that I wish it was me, and uh, I'm not going to encourage her uh, because it's not me. <laughs> so, so the chances are that he may well do it. But it seems like it's been promised for a little while. Yeah. So here's, if, it, if the promise is about to be uh, honoured, then you should be able to see certain things happening. You don't mention, you mention that you have two, two children, but you don't mention whether you have a passport and whether the children have passports as well. Now, in the Philippines, I would think that this is quite uh, doubtful that you have a passport. When I met Beth, she didn't have a passport and it was quite a complicated uh, routine to go through, a process which was, uh, which involved expenses and the expenses for us were travels to and from Cebu lots of waiting in line yeah. uh, being told that you had everything and then when you went back again <laughs> you found that there was yet another document what we're having what we've had this many times in our lives together so chances are that maybe you haven't got the process started so that would be the first thing you don't say whether you have been married before. You've got two children. Uh, and you don't say two children. You say two girls. So uh, I may be wrong, but I'm assuming that they are a little bit uh, more than just kids. You know, perhaps in the eight or nine, maybe ten years old thing. So he will have to meet certain requirements in order to be able to petition you in. I think the way that it goes, but you should find out through immigration, go to the source for this, the way that it usually goes is that the mother would go to America on a fiancé visa, which is the quickest one to apply for. Logic would tell you that being a wife would be faster, but it doesn't work that way. And for some reason, America demands that the shortest way is for a uh, a fiance and then you would go there and if you married within 90 days then it would be a fairly simple thing to petition your children in provided he has enough income yeah you know I can see you're dying to get in no that's very good advice that you gave it oh thank you <laughs> you know uh, your 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 letter is not really a lot was not really elaborate on all the details all you just says is you got two daughters you know hmm. i think uh 
I think it's quite a bit complicated, you know, but if your boyfriend is serious and really in love with you and will do everything to bring you to America, then possible it will happen. You know, but just to make sure that you know him very well. You know, because it's not just it's not just your lives that is involved, it's also your two daughter. You know, so you need to you need to find out the real uh, you know, before you jump up on that relationship and going there, you need to know the real color of your boyfriend. Right? Because yes, you do, and that's that's uh, that's going to be a serious thing because once you're over there, uh, and I've made this point many times, once you're over there, you are without a support system. And if the worst were to happen and your daughters became at risk, then you've got a serious problem because would you be able to get on a plane just to come back? I doubt it. But do you think that, the? I think what happened is the f if it's fiancé fiance visa, right? Mm. The, well, you would the assume foreigner, the foreigner will get the wa the 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 woman, right? The Filipina, the girlfriend, and then the girlfriend will be the one to petition the kids. Well, the, it, it will be a joint. It will be a joint thing. What, yeah, once, I think it's it's yeah, quite actually no, it's not a joint thing. Once once the uh, once the girlfriend is there, once our author is there and has married and has found that it's to her liking. Right. That's the other thing. Once you get there, you've really got to try very hard to find out what the morals and integrity of this man really are. What kind of support does he have from family and friends? And are the family and friends to your liking as well? This is not this is not um, an unreasonable thing. You need to enjoy the company of his friends and family and they have to accept you. Yeah, and at the same time, because there are other horror, you know, we know we know that uh, different people, uh, uh, there's good and bad people, you know, and we need, we heard some horrors about, what do you call that, hand? Insur insurance, you know? Insurance? Yeah, insurance, where a uh, Filipina was being insured and then something happened, the insurance goes to the pa foreigner, right? Well, That's the one those thing. are the extreme horror stories, yeah, the horror. To, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair. Okay, to be fair. You're going back to your. You're go <laughs> she has this thing about horror mo horror movies, so no, I'm just so th therefore she she will think in terms of horror movies for normal people, normal thinking people yeah, but who are not watching these horror movies where all kinds of terrible things happen. The, the worst that the worst case scenario would probably be that if the girls are older. Then, then there might be some kind of a risk there. Yeah, I mean, I, you're laughing there, but I know that you don't think that that's funny. Yeah, and I think you know. Uh, I think also there's an agreement between the has the father. You know, in other words, there is a sign from the father yeah. that they allow they allow that the he kids, will allow his children to go. But you don't mention a father. You know, so it's it's quite you know all I my my very di simple advice. You know know that person first know that foreigner first the real identity the real authenticity you know because uh it's not just one day one month one year that the relationship will last if you got married to him and you bring your children to america it will be you know it will change the la your lives and at the same times the life of your children and make sure that they find a uh, they find a step father that will love them as the real child as as, as, his his, as his real daughters. As his daughters. You know? And the, the thing, the thing that uh, it's not it's not a case of bashing America, but America is not the place that most Filipinos think it is. It's not it's not paradise. It the, the money doesn't just flow into your pockets. You you have to work very hard. I've said this before. Americans work damned hard for the money that they get. They have a high standard of living in most cases compared to a Filipino. They they have a high standard of living. They have luxuries that the, the Filipinos in the normal average Filipino would never see in his lifetime. But they work very, very hard for it and sometimes the price for that material wealth is very very high in terms yeah. of family here you are you are 
believe me, you are rich beyond the imagination in terms of family and friends and a whole extended way of life. Yeah. And that, that's a fact. We go back to the main problem, you know, knows that person first. You know, your question is, is it true? If, the, if your foreigner boyfriend is real, he will do what he can if he's really in love with you. If he wants to go out, if he wants that to be together with you, you know, and at the same time, your children, of course, because you are part, uh, your children is part of the package, right? So your concern is your neighbor and your family don't believe it. It's up to them. Everyone has a choice, and sometimes we need Everyone to leave. Everyone has an opinion. Yeah, we need to leave the choice that we have. We choose, right? So again, Ma'am Alma, thank you so much. And sorry if your problem is being late, respond. Have a good day and get this. Yes, one thing, one thing before we go. Never mind the words. Action. What is, what is the action? In other words, someone can say all day long that they're going to take you to heaven. <laughs> but you need to see the tickets, okay? Not to go to heaven. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but as the... As that song says, everyone wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to go right now. But that's not the same with, uh, with the USA. So make sure that when things are promised, then they come through. That's the thing. Are promises honoured? Are agreements kept? Is this man as good as his word? And if he's not, why are you wasting time? Yeah, and at the same time, you know, uh, try to use your instinct, you know, not just, not just, uh, covered it, but, oh, he's, she's a foreigner, I love, uh, he's a foreigner, I love him, you know, don't, don't just look on that side, but at the same time, look the, the biggest picture, is it good for my children? You know, because it's not just your decision. It's not just uh, it's not just focusing on yourself, because you got two childrens already. You know, and whatever decisions that you're gonna make, it gonna affects their life. Mm. So have a good day and God bless. Thank Bye. you. Don't give uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye bye.